Hi, I'm Ted. Come photograph with me. Today we're going to do some water drips, which are going to hit each other in the air. Water pushed up from the bottom to hit water drip from the top. This type of system has been around for a while, but it's fun to see it in high speed. So this bottom dripper uh, opens up and it, it, it's under a little bit of pressure with a, with a plunger here so I can pressurize it like this. And then this top dripper uh, is hooked up to a Marriott siphon up top here. And they're timed so that this drip as it comes down collides with the bottom drip about halfway up here. And there's all sorts of uh, filters here so that we add some color to the shot. And we'll talk about those in a bit. But uh, if we just let it run, it's under a 12 volt. It's controlled by an Arduino and a, a fun little piece of code. I'll put it in the comment section here on the YouTube channel. And when I hit the dripper, there it goes. That's pretty much all that there is to it. Um, and they collide in space. Today I also have a high speed phantom camera here that will be recording at close to 10,000 frames per second. So we can really get a good idea what happens with that fluid dynamics as those drips heat each other. I can change this system up in a whole bunch of different ways. I can change the size of the drips coming down. I can change the size of the drips coming up from the bottom. I can control where they hit in space. And I also can change the velocity that these drips leave this bottom dripper at. So there's a lot of things to change. Now, the lighting is kind of odd. There's a red light here that comes in from the side. You can see that everything is just prototype rail, just clamped together very quickly. This is a one day project. And here's my red light coming in from the left, my purple light from the right. And the backlight is just a nice blue. And there we go. Um, and that supplies enough light to the high speed camera that we can operate at around 10,000 frames per second. With the camera, I'm gonna trigger the camera with its uh, trigger port here. I'm gonna wait till the drip goes and then I'm gonna trigger the camera with its, its trigger and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, once everything is hooked up and programmed, the drip, and then I trigger and I get it over here on this screen. It's hard to see, but this, uh, this is the drip that was just captured. Sometimes this apparatus is called drips from below, but I'm not sure what the best name to call it is. It's just a mid-air collision of two drips that have uh, quite a bit of velocity with them. And this bottom drip carries a lot of energy as it goes up. It will basically split that top drip coming down to pieces. So uh, when I do this and trigger the camera, I have my phantom camera trigger right here and I hit the dripper and then I trip the camera. It's, it's the, the first couple seconds are held in buffer and I'll move this camera in so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna enact this dripper uh, from the bottom. It's gonna shoot up from the top one. It's gonna drip down and they're gonna hit midair. By the way, this thing I'm pointing with is a focusing tool. It's just a plastic straw. I put the plastic straw in this position. I focus the high speed camera and that really helps a lot with the focus. So let's do a drip. There's the drip. Another one, we'll do a couple of them. And it doesn't look like much is going on, but it is colliding in midair right there in the center. And it happens so fantastically fast that we have to have a high speed camera uh, look at it and figure out what's going on. So you can change a lot of different fluids. In this case, this is uh, some sort of thickener used for medical applications. And here we have water coming down, hitting a, a medical thickener uh, headed up. And you can see that, that the bottom drip has a lot more velocity and it just punches through that top falling drip. And this is typically what you see with uh, a pressurized jet coming in from below. Here we've upped the speed to 8,800 frames per second. You get a better idea of that bottom drip just basically punching through that, the falling drip there. And if the momentums are about right, it will have zero velocity and it'll tumble for a little bit before 
uh, you can notice the acceleration taking place and uh, the falling drops happen again. There's a lot of debate about this drops hitting other drops in thunderstorms and such and the nature of uh, the water as it hits other drops inside a thunderstorm. You're hitting drips against drips um, and visualizing them as they fall. And here's a second shot. Pretty much the same thing. It's a thickener uh, going up and hitting water. And you can see that uh, those bottom drips do kind of punch right through those falling drips. And they make all these interesting shapes as they combine together into bigger drips as that surface tension takes over and tries to make them spherical as they fall. It's all pretty cool stuff and it happens way faster than you can see it. So this is the beauty of high-speed cameras. The last clip I have is uh, looking at two different uh, situations. One is the water uh, on a blow jet. The water here is uh, falling on the, the left and the right and it's hitting an upward uh, jet of, of liquid. On the left it's water and on the right it's a, a thickener. You can see that the results are about the same. It's hard to tell the difference. Hope you learned a little bit about high-speed photography and you understand a little bit about how these kinds of complex shots are done. And until next time, I'm Ted. And remember, you can photograph everything except procrastination.